Go for it. Yeah, come on, drawers, tell us um, what, what we're looking well, at. Well, it's just a plate, uh, two plates. I had a phone call one night, maybe about 25 years ago, from a friend of one of the children telling me he was at an auction in the, or a bring and buy sale in the Grand Hotel, and that there were plates with a photograph of Giverna and the metalman. And would he buy them for me? And I said, do. And I was very surprised because I had never seen anything in the house with anything depicting uh, the history of the area. So I, I, I really don't... I, I do know... I also got... A, a, I don't know where it is at the moment, a teapot stand that a friend of my husband's sent from America with the same picture on it of the haunted well. And on the back of it, it was made in Germany. And I wondered about it because why would a, a, a teapot stand with, uh, depicting a picture of the Cove to all come from Germany? But I really <laughs> never, I, I really don't know. And this is a really old postcard the, of, yeah, of, of the, the boat. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you see there. <coughs> what, what's your memory of it? Well, any of those could be uh, Johnny's boat. I'd say probably the red one. And uh, that was Mr. Lodge's shed, and that was O'Brien's shed. And I, I don't know whose shed that was. No, I don't know anything very much about it, only it's very much the pier as I remember it, and it's lovely. It was a busy place. A very busy place, it was lovely. And this, this, is, uh, this is who you refer to uh, on that oh, story that, about the, uh, the that's plat. My, yes, that's my mother, yeah. And the story I was told, but you see, so many things get lost in time or, or maybe memory enhanced us. I don't know that she had a long plait of hair and during the War of Independence, she was sent from one place to another with a message for somebody and the message was in the plait in her hair. That's, that's really... Uh, and then this one here is obviously... This oh, that's me when I was... It could have been around the time of my first Holy Communion. That's what I quite remember, sitting in the studio in Annie Brophy's. And I remember the sweet pea being put in my hand and arranged. And I remember Annie Brophy and her brother. He used to handle the props or whatever you call. But, and, that's, that's, that's and, and, and Annie Brophy, what, what's your memory of her? Well, you see, my own, my grandmother Cummins... Uh, was in the house next to Brophy's when the jail wall disaster happened. She lived there with my uncle, with, with her son Willie Cummins. And my memory of Brophy's, they lived next door to Cummins's in Barker Street. And I remember going in and I remember going down the back of the long hall to the studio where Annie and her brother Billy were. But, the and then also it was interesting because, because she was... Um, like a woman photographer. Oh, absolutely. That, that was very unusual, wasn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And that's a photo of Johnny, my husband, when he was, yeah. Also, that one is signed. I don't think mine is signed, is it? I think there is a signature. Well, on that's it. Annie Brophy Watford, anyway. Okay. Yeah, that was Johnny. Yeah. So he he also went to Annie Brophy. And he so also well, it was the thing to do for. Uh, it was the thing to do to have your portrait done by Annie yeah. Brophy and my brothers and sisters all have And then she used to do that kind of hand painting stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was uh, very yeah. interesting as yeah. well. Yeah. And, and uh, you also mentioned, I know you mentioned in the uh, in that? the interview that? that you were involved in the Irish water oh, safety yeah, for yeah. many years. And they made me life governor. When did I have that? Oh, that was 2014. They, I was involved for over 50 years, yeah. For your sins. For my sins. <laughs> <laughs> you survived. Sins. Uh, no, the, and they were a lovely. They are a lovely organisation. They were, and that, and, and that was pre Annie Brophy. That's uh, pools of Watford. This is way back. That's pools of Watford. That's the man that built this house. That's Michael O'Sullivan. Okay. That's. Uh, well, that, that's uh, your oh, grandfather. That's Agnes O'Sullivan. That's Joe Brian Buttervant. That's Fanny O'Sullivan, and that's Bridget Sullivan. They're the family that lived here. Okay, and this one of the pools. That's Pool of Waterford, is it? Okay. Oh, no, T. Oh, the Mall, yeah. Pool thirty four, the Mall of Waterford. Okay. How did I? How did I know it was pool? So how would I know that? It must that's be on right. it. It says the bow. And then this is it. obviously this is your oh, own. That's, oh, that's a recent one. Yeah. 
And this, this is, is your this is your own gang. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my lot, yeah. Yeah. And that's happy days. And that's your late husband. Yeah, that's Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he was a good character. No, he was grand. He was lovely. Okay. Easy and gentle. And was this picture taken here at the house? Yeah, that's out in the back garden there. Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's the kitchen window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. For the rogues gallery. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they all keep you busy. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dolores, thanks very much. Oh, not at all. And My it was pleasure. brilliant, brilliant to get My all pleasure. that. Yeah, I hope you get something out of it.